Hello guys, I am Angit in this video we shall see another problem on lead code. Minimum index sum of two lists. So given two array of strings, list 1 and list 2, find the common strings with the least index sum. So here what do they mean by common string? It's a string that appeared both in list 1 and list 2. And a common string with least index sum is nothing but it's a common string such that if it appeared at list of list 1 of i and list 2 of j, then i plus j should be minimum value among all other common strings. So return all the common strings with the least index sum, return the answer in any order. So what the question says is we have to return the common string with the least index sum. So common strings means the, those strings which appear in both the list. This means array of strings, whatever they are given here. And also with the least index sum in the, in the sense, uh, here if you see uh, in this case, happy is appearing at the index 0 in the list 1 and the same happy is appearing at the index 1 in the list 2 so 0 plus 1 index 0 plus index 1 that will give you 1 so 1 is the sum if you go to sad sad is appearing at the uh, index 1 in the list 1 and in the list 2 it's appearing appearing at the index 0 so 0 plus 1 again 1 is the index sum so here you could see uh, two uh, strings which are common and they have the same list index that is happy and sad which is giving sum as 1. So, you are returning that. If you go to good, the last word, it's appearing at the index 2 and in the list 2 also it's appearing at the index 2. So, 2 plus 2 will be 4. So, if you compare it to C, 1 is the least sum um, with the having the common strings that are happy and sad. You have to return this answer in the form of an array. And this uh, answer of uh, which containing string, array containing string can be in any order. That doesn't matter here. So, this is the problem what they have asked. So, how do we solve this? So, for solving the problem, what we will do is, so given this string, okay, so given this string, so we will, what we will do is, of course, we know, for storing the index, we need a hash map here. So, in the list one, we will iterate and we will have a index map. But before to this index map, what will be the normal brute force approach? So it will be nothing, nothing but you will have a pointer here, okay, happy. Then iterate over the list too. You, if you find happy, then this index plus this index. So we'll have a index sum and minimum index sum. So minimum index sum will be minimum of index sum comma minimum index sum. So index sum will be in this case 0 plus 1 will be 1. So minimum index sum will be incremented to 1 again. So again we have to move to sad. I did to the entire array you find sad here. So 1 plus 0 again 1 same 1 here. Then if you find it equal then add it to the array. Let's say in Java we use array list and in C++ we will be using the vector. So append sad and happy to this array. Then move to good. You find iterate over the next uh, list also array of strings, so that will be two plus uh, two uh, four, so, which is not minimum in this case. So what will be the minimum? That is one only. So you will be returning that. This is the normal approach, but other approach could be what we do is we will have an index map. Okay, so initially it stores happy. Uh, here the key will be the each element in the list one and value will be the index at which the element is occurring. So it will be 0, then sad, 1, after that at last what we have is good. So even that is also appearing at the index 2. So this is the index map what we have. You might ask. Don't we need to store the index map, same index map for the list 2 as well? No, we'll, we, it doesn't require that. You can do it, but it will take extra memory. So without doing that, only we just storing the key value pairs of the list 2 also, we can solve the problem. So index map of list 1 it is. Okay, we have stored the key and value is nothing but the index at which this particular key is occurring in the list 1. So next, iterate over the list 2. So now when you iterate over the list 2, you find sad here, right? So once you get sad, check whether this particular key is present in the list 1 map, index map. Yes, it is. Then again, you have the index sum equal to and minimum index sum. So let the minimum index sum will be the highest value initially because let this be int max. 
and this will become index sum will be what so index sum will be 1 plus 0 what is this so 1 plus 0 is nothing but 1 so minimum of index sum and minimum index sum is 1 so this uh, this minimum index sum would become 1 now so what we will do is once you get the index sum check whether this index sum is less than the minimum index sum yes it is 1 is less than int max so minimum index sum will be equal to 1 this time and and push this word keyword there is nothing but uh, sad into the array list or the vector so sad will be appended to the array list okay next you go to happy again check whether this happy is present in the present as a key in the index map yes it is so 0 plus happy is occurring at 1 so 0 plus 1 will be 1 again so in this case index sum is equal to the minimum index sum because index sum you are getting as 1 because 0 plus 1 will be 1 so if it is equal also you have to append just append that into the okay next you move here good you could is present in index map yes it is so here index is 2 2 plus 2 4 so in this index sum will be 4 is index sum less than minimum index sum no if it is not less than that then do not do anything just leave that yes. so this is the answer which we will be getting so in c plus plus we can directly return the vector but in java we will be have using the array list because we don't know the length of the result and uh, array right so at last convert this array list into a new array and uh, call our instance of new array and return the answer it in the form of array because uh, if you see the return type it is string so that's why we will be using that so this is java logic i'll explain it later so yeah, this is the approach to solve the problem. But one more thing which we need to handle the case here is, let's say uh, we have another um, word, okay? We have another word, happy, sad, rich. And let this be in the beginning of the list one and rich be at the end of the list two. Okay, not. So let's say rich is at the end in the list one and it is in the beginning in the list two. So in this case, if you solve the problem, what will happen? First you, uh, this rich will be of index three. Okay. Now you find rich. So this is zero plus three. Initially minimum index will be int max. So zero plus will be three. So minimum index sum will be three and this index sum will be also be three. Next you move to sad. Sad is appearing at index 1 here. Here it is appearing at again index 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. So index sum is 2 which is less than 3. So in this case what should be done? Because you will be appending rich into the array list or vector. Right? So what we do is before once you get index sum less than minimum index sum you have to clear this particular vector or array list. Once you clear this then you append the particular sad into the array list or vector because rich whatever we got that is 0 plus 3 nothing but 3 you are getting so you appended which is less than the int max right so you appended that into the vector but later you found that sad is giving the uh, index sum as 2 1 plus 1 2 which is less than 3 so this should be cleared out this should be cleared uh, cleared out the array should be cleared out then uh, you add the word sad into the list so this one which case we need, we need to handle so we'll implement the logic so if i need to tell you in brief you create index map of list one key the element in the map with the particular position at which would they are occurring in the uh, array so once you get that next you iterate over the list to check whether this particular key is present in index map if it is present then uh, add the index of this word in the list two as well as the value in the index map once you add it if it is less than the index sum minimum index sum then first we need to clear the list after that append that into the clear the list append that into the list later then minimum index sum will be equal to index sum if it is equal to index sum then just uh, add on in this case happy whatever you get so this is at the index zero this is in the index two so zero plus two will be two just add that into the 
uh, which is equal to sad also sad also having the index sum as 2 so just add that into the list so if it is greater index sum is greater than the minimum index sum we are good if you check it is greater than minimum index sum if thus in that case you need not to do anything because you are getting as 4 as the answer so let's implement the logic so first we will create a map Uh, because key is string here and value is int so let's name it as index map so once you have this index map we have to store the elements right so for i equal to 0 i less than list 1 dot size i plus plus why i am using i because i need to get the index position here that's why uh, we can't just add it like for each character uh, what each string in the list one so here index map of list one of i plus plus or list one of i equal to i we will use yeah okay so once you have stored this in index map now we'll have a variable index sum Let's name it as minimum index sum, which will be int max in the beginning. In Java, we use integer dot max value. So once you have this minimum index sum, next we'll iterate over the list two as well. First, we need to check whether this particular key is present in the index map. If index map dot find of list of i if it is not pointing how do you get this whether it's present in the index map or not if it is not pointing to index map dot end if it is pointing to index map end then that particular uh, key is not present in the index map if it is not pointing then that particular string is present in the index map if it is present in the index map first we need to compute the index sum so let's initialize index sum to zero and here what will be the index sum so index sum will be equal to one will be the index map value so how do you get that index map value get index map of list 2 of i plus i list 2 of i so this particular string value you get it and i is nothing but the index of this particular string in the list 2 So once you get the index sum, next what you should do, you have to check if index sum is less than minimum index sum. If it is less than minimum index sum, then okay, we have to create a list, right? Uh, so vector will create vector in result. So first, what we need to do, we have to clear the list. So results dot clear so once clearing that now result dot push back of list 2 of i and minimum index sum will be reinitialized with index sum now what if index sum is equal to minimum index sum so else if same thing index sum is equal to minimum index sum Then we just need to add that particular string into the resultant vector. So in Java, we use the array list. That's it. So at the end, return the result. Okay. So we can run this and check.
Oh. Why this is giving us okay? It should be string, right? The return type because we are returning string here. I had written int, so that was a mistake. Yes. So I'll explain the logic in Java also. So first you create a index map string and valuable integer, the position at which the particular string is occurring in the list one. So this is the resultant array list. As we know, we cannot define the array here because we don't know the result of the resultant array. So we create a list. Next minimum index sum will be initialized to maximum value in the beginning. So I did over the list one and index map just put the each string with the particular value into the index map so later I write it over the list two so in that so we have the current string that list two of j is being initialized to current string now if index map contains this particular current string as a key then add the value of that current string and and also the j the position at which the string current string is appearing in list one and list two so that is index sum if that is less than the minimum index sum then first clear that particular list then add the current string and minimum index sum will be equal to index sum this time if it is equal to index sum then just append that into the resultant array list so as i said once you get the resultant array list you have to convert into the array because it is um, the return type is string here array so convert that into the array and you create a new instance of the array list and return the answer. So we shall submit this also. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come with another video on the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.